Today I'm going to show you the first steps in ending up with the perfect bird for your holiday table. Most importantly, you want to start with a great product. At Whole Foods, all of the turkeys are locally raised, never frozen, no antibiotics, no hormones, and they're all vegetarian fed. So when you start with a great product, hopefully you'll end up with a beautiful turkey for your table. The next most important step is brining. This is a process that chefs and other cooks use in order to really lock in the moisture. I'm sure that everybody's had one of those turkeys where you cut into it, sort of wah wah, there deflates your turkey. You really want to lock in the moisture while it's cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some sugar and salt that are going to work together to bring in a lot of flavor and lock in the moisture. We're going to add in a bunch of different spices and flavors and a little bit of fruit from some sweetness. Let's get started. I like to use a brown sugar. I just like the caramelized flavor that it gives. So we're gonna put in about a cup of brown sugar, and we're gonna go equal amounts with kosher salt. There we go. I like to use just a little black peppercorn. I think a little spice goes a long way. Let's put in some Thai peppers, some onions, garlic, and you can just throw the cloves in whole a little bit of thyme. And then if you have some fruit around the house, I actually have some locally grown apples I'm gonna use, as well as some oranges. Also pineapple would work well in this. Any sort of fruit that has a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of tartness, just to add to the mix. And you don't have to get fancy here. We're just gonna be creating beautiful flavor in the brine, so just a rough chop is fine. And we're just gonna slice our orange. There's great flavor in the juice as well as in the rind, so we're just gonna put the whole thing right on in there. Smells great. Now we're gonna put in some water and bring it to a boil. Once our water has come to a boil and simmered for about 20 minutes, we're gonna turn it off and let it cool just for a little while to come down to room temperature. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of ice to make sure it's nice and cold before adding in our turkey. Now this is a process that works great for turkey. We're actually, you can use a whole turkey. We're gonna do turkey breast today. But you can also use this on chickens as well as pork products. It really just brings in a lot of flavor and keeps in the moisture. Just make sure that's nice and chilly. Then we're gonna add in our turkey breast. Just make sure it's fully covered by the liquid. Then we're gonna refrigerate it overnight. If you're doing a full turkey, you might want to do it for about 24 hours, but for just the breast, overnight should work fine. After your turkey's had a good night's rest in the brine, it's time to give it a good roast. First, we're gonna pull it out of the brine and let it rest for a little while, just to let some of the juices run off. That way we can get a nice brown skin. While that's waiting, we're gonna get some aromatics ready to go. Since we're just doing a breast today, we can't stuff it inside the turkey, so we're just gonna put them in the pan right underneath. Very simple, we're just gonna do some onions, some whole cloves of garlic. I like to really pack in the garlic, so go crazy. Some pats of butter, just to bring a little extra richness and ensure that all the moisture is gonna stay in. And a little fresh thyme. In goes our breast, and we're gonna start with an oven that's a little bit hotter, about 400 degrees. We're gonna do that for about 20 minutes. After the first 20 minutes, when the skin has gotten nice and brown, you can turn your oven down, and you're gonna do about 18 minutes a pound. So this breast is just about four pounds. We're gonna keep it in for about an hour. So after about an hour, our turkey's perfectly roasted and all ready to go. Nice and moist and delicious. Enjoy.